boys, we're on hard limbo right now. One cylinder, two cylinder. Dude, I'm running on one cylinder, let's go! Woo! Okay, literally, I almost just got stranded at a stoplight. Oh my gosh. The car started like going, whoa, 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 what the heck? What is happening? And now I have a check engine light. I literally just got off the gym right now. So we're, what the heck? The car's idly normal now. It's trying to be normal, but I don't trust it. Well, I'm gonna turn off for a little bit though. What the heck was that? Engine, read codes, fuel rope pressure, catalytic, catalytic, 14 tool E. I don't know if we're gonna make it home right now. The car is acting super weird. Ah! I just put new wheels on you. Are you really gonna do this to me? Really gonna do this to me? I was talking on the phone with Gus the whole time. He says it might be the fuel pressure sensor that is right next to the manifold. That's a common issue that goes bad. And obviously if that sensor is bad, then it's gonna read low fuel pressure. I accidentally tried putting it in parking as the car was rolling. And the car went. <laughs> is that a red light? No, I'm not stopping at a red light. I'm not, I'm sorry. If I get pulled over, emergency. Here we have the sensor of belief, it's bad. The sensor is located, wait for it, right in there. But this sensor actually goes right after the, or right before the high pressure fuel pump. Hoping, I'm praying to God is the issue. By the way, this is how the sensor looks like. Oh, my God. Who makes a bag that's already open on one side? <laughs> okay, so we got the throttle body off, as you can see right here. But you guys remember when I was in the whole parts unboxing for this car, and I said I had no idea what this was for. Well, I think I figured it out. Look at that. It is a throttle body gasket. Now, all we got to do is take out that box, and the sensor should be... Actually, you can see the sensor from here. It is that one right there. Probably gonna have to also put the o-ring in here here we go code scan let's see if we still have the code honestly i don't know why i'm using this this 30 dollar one reads the code in like five seconds oh okay Whew. all right let's start up see if that fixes the issue oh that startup is very nice very nice startup Okay, that might have been the issue. No more check engine light, and I have not cleared it. <laughs> I think that was the issue. No way. I think I just have to go ahead and delete the codes, but I think that might have been the issue. The fan isn't on. I think that might have been the issue. Let's go. That's some seriously loud injector tick, right? I, <laughs> I love BMW. Guys, girls, grannies, I don't know. The BMW is still broken. Y'all hear that? Car's dying. Car, okay, let's put it inside. Ah! My camera. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna show you guys something and you're gonna know what's going on. No, but here's the thing actually. So it misfires hard on the on the cold start so now i feel like if i started it's gonna be fine and then i read up online and it says that might be leaky injectors see now it's just fine zero misfires no check engine light and that's because you guys just saw me started right now and it was misfiring hard it looks like a one cylinder two cylinder dude i'm running on one cylinder let's go Woo! Boys, we're on hard limbo right now. But let's just appreciate the backdrop though. We just have to. Getting a lot more air than it is fuel is gonna start misfiring. And it's not gonna know why it's misfiring. But why is it only misfiring on, on like cold startups? Because it takes in the most air? And when it's reading them. Because when you're in power and you- Wait, I don't think they've seen it. We're talking about because this is loose right here. I then tying everything down. Okay, so I thought, okay, wait, wait. So I thought that was the issue. Because yesterday I started up with only two bolts on the throttle body tying it down. And I was like, okay, that's probably why. And then I tightened up the throttle bodies. And then I put this kind of half A in. Like yeah, the charge probably is on right. But we can go ahead and tighten that up. I, I, just, I don't know if these have a, is there a sensor on this air box? No. No? No. And it's not it. See, now it's just idling normal. Now it's like a normal car. Maybe it's a leaky injector. It could be a leaky injector. Because I was reading up online and people were saying, 
If it's only on cold startup that the car makes fire is extremely hard, it's 100% leaky injectors. I wouldn't jump to that assumption. Because I mean, these are old and they're prone to go bad. They're like the biggest thing that people say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to change too. So it's not like... Okay, so the car's completely on limb mode right now. I don't know if you can hear me, but thankfully Roland has an MHD little dongle that you put into the OBD2 and it reads you every code. And we can also see if the high pressure fuel pump is pushing the power it should be pushing. One, two, four, and six again. Now you got the same cutout code. You have a shadow code for the high pressure. Ainsbury Bregzong. That long word. Oh, that's French, bro. That not that long word right there. Oh well, didn't go got sat Zach knock. And literally one exactly one hour later, we got the new quote unquote new high pressure fuel pump out of the car. What we're gonna do now, put the old one back in and hopefully that fixes the issue. Here we got the old one that's going back in the car. Honestly, at this point, I hope the issue is that I got sent a faulty fuel pump. That would actually be amazing. All right, here we go, here we go. Please act normal. <laughs> Woo! She acting normal, baby. I'm not gonna lie, you probably can't hear me right now, but I'm gonna tell you the story. Today in the morning, I was feeling really anxious and I wanna know if the car was good or not. So without tightening up the throttle body or putting the intake system back on, Danny went ahead and started the BMW. And I'm telling you, I got misfire on cylinder one, two, four, and six. <laughs> and I almost started crying. And we are good, baby. Woo! Here we go. Am I nervous? Yes. Extremely nervous. Well, I don't want to speak too soon, but it looks like the issue was the new high pressure fuel pump. I was probably sent a faulty high pressure fuel pump, which thank God FCP Euro has lifetime warranty on all parts. So I'm gonna go ahead and send that over back to them, get a new one, and then we should be good. I do smell a little bit of gas though, so I'm gonna check on that. <laughs> That's all gas. Oh my God. <laughs> what did I just did I not connect a lot what did I just do oh my god I mean the car has like no gas now oh my goodness <laughs> all right I probably just left the line loose let me figure that out very exciting part of the video look, look what's in front of me if you're 30 3 to z you guys have not seen this car in a while we're gonna get into another video but but today's just fun oh you know what i'm pissed mid recording the camera stopped but in front of me we do have these amazing evc brake rotors and brake pads for the vr30 3 to z that's right behind me obviously they are from throttle i will leave a link to these exact same rotors as well as the website use code danny z for a good amount of percentage off your order as you guys know, we ordered Mishimoto parts for the both cars, CSF parts for both cars, sway bars for both cars, directly from them. The website is honestly incredible. They have so many parts for Zs, BMWs, everything you can think of. So, I'm excited. Because these are drilled and slotted rotors. A little bit of a better cooling, also looks really cool. Huge thank you to Throttle. Absolutely love you guys. Thank you for sponsoring, believing in me, and being part of the build. All right, let's go put these out of the car.
out with the old and in with the new shout out to my boy chris fix <laughs> oh that's so much better and i know what you guys are thinking oh you should paint the caliber i'm gonna do that the paint that i ordered hasn't come in yet so sadly we have to wait but either way this thing looks so awesome now Look at the Tommy right there, but I'm sorry, but look how funny and ugly looking those calipers are, as well as the whole w disgusting. So if you guys didn't notice, I didn't install pads in the front because I'm still waiting for the front pads. So I'm gonna show you how to do the rear pads. If you're just doing the pads, it's really simple. You gotta take the top bolt, the bottom bolt, and this little piece actually, or just take the top bolt and this little piece will drop and you can just take out the pads pretty easily. Push them out like that. Ta-da! Clamp. Okay, so we're using a C-clamp to go ahead and push in the piston. Look how clean that Tomy is. Tell me you don't drive your car without telling me you don't drive your car. <laughs> that Tomy at most has 20 cold stars on it. Sheesh! Woo! Look at that sound. We ain't know these things. I need some AC. We gotta put gas. Look at that. We spilled so much oil, there's no gas in the car. We spilled so much oil, there's no gas in the car. What did he say? Hey. Oh. Damn, it really smells like gas. I'm traumatized at this point. But we made it to the gas station. It's crazy that the issue was a faulty car part. I guess it happens. I don't know. Downtown, downtown, downtown. How much money? Ooh, look at those wheels, though. Are you aftermarket, bro? Sheesh. Aftermarket boy. Ah! <clears throat> What's something you have an obsession with? You. So I was just telling Chris about this and when I finished the whole maintenance thing I noticed that there was really really loud injector take to the point where I even texted Gus And I was like yo is this normal? He said yeah injector take But now that the old fuel pump is on the car You don't really hear the, the loud ticking anymore It's like a nice normal idle like it was before So I don't know if it's because the old high pressure fuel pump was faulty obviously So it made the injectors work extra hard or actually I don't know but yeah Beamer's back 